Nothing too insane. See like, I don't want to shit myself, and I don't want my nipples to bleed. The thing I would want to do is, like, I don't know, scoop up some dirt and take it with me. I don't know if they would let me do it. Maybe I'll just have to swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is Japan, baby! Mike Wynn. Amy Wynn. And this is We Discuss. We Discuss. A podcast about... Things that we... Discussing. Things we discuss. I'm that sorry. That we talk about <laughs> and discuss. What are we talking about today, Mike? Today, we're talking about retiring and bucket lists. Do you have a bucket list? Do you want to retire someday? <laughs> Let us know, please. I want to know what, what somebody's crazy bucket list item is that they think they might be able to achieve at some point in their life. There's, there's somebody in their 30s, 40s. That's like, this thing here, I know I have to wait for it. I'm definitely doing that before I kick the bucket. What's Jeez. yours? But first, let's get back to the re retiring. Retiring. Say it again. Retiring. <laughs> Is it something you want to do? It's something I want to do. I would love to eventually. Wait, wait, why am I even talking about this? Oh, so Tom Scott is stepping back from YouTube, and then Matt Pat Matt is Pat also is doing the same thing. Stepping back from YouTube, yeah. And, and there's a handful of other people in March, right? It's like, isn't it like Addie's, like Addie's birthday? I know, wait, March. My mom's, Sorry, my mom's <laughs> birthday is in March. Yeah, <laughs> it's Addie's going to be doing Susical at that point, but but it's going to be the worst time of her life, <laughs> but the best time of her life at the same time. So. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about these things because we're seeing people in their 40s mm -hmm. who are like, oh, this job is too much for, <laughs> for me. I got to retire. I got to ah. step back. And like, <laughs> you've got the money to do that. Right. <laughs> I'm barely scraping by here in this basement. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 41. I know, right? Like, how old? It, <laughs> I, I have some notes here. All right, go ahead. I, I, I said the latter bucket list is a whimsical term. <laughs> it, it's something that sounds... I, I even I typed heaven here. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I believe in any sort of religion or, or, or like, you know... Doesn't at subscribe. all. Subscribe. I don't subscribe to any mm. sort of religion. Full or, on science. My point here is that it's like a f bucket list. You know, you hear it. Oh, a fantastical whimsical. Because it's not something you're thinking about in your present lifetime. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like, oh, I always wanted to go to this place. And we're going to go on a trip here. I'm going to go do that thing. And there you go. You mark off your bucket list. Like, I feel like, like people don't have like bucket lists per se. I think people have lists of things that they want to do. But it's not considered a bucket list even though some of those things might be a little more extra <laughs> so <laughs> you like, know like, like a, a little more expensive a little more like not as uh, attainable as say something that's like within a couple hundred miles of you you know things yeah. that are like thousands of miles away to do or like you know the the phrase bucket list to me has always had this whimsy and fantastical, you know, like something that's just like really out there. You know, mm -hmm. I want to go to Mars. Like that's probably Elon Musk's bucket list. He wants to go to Mars. I think about going into space a he lot. Dies, or even die on Mars. I don't know. Um, I think about going to space a lot. I just want to say that <laughs> again. <laughs> and it makes me feel a certain way. It's very scary. But Because I don't understand any of it. <laughs> There are bucket list items mm -hmm. that could just exist for like, you know, oh, I want to get a tattoo. There's those people who are like, I've never had a tattoo in my life. I'm 50 years old. Yeah, I think I want to get one. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I've always wanted one, but I was always too scared or my religion told me not to do it. So I didn't do it. But now I'm a different religion and now I'm going to do it. You know, I think I overheard a woman. She was like in her 70s at PT saying something about possibly... I think it was about her getting her nose pierced and she's getting her nose pierced soon because her 16 year old granddaughter has it. And I was like, that's kind of cool. So that, I think, I think that's what it was. I, it was, but that's passing. another kind of thing. Like, Oh, right. I never got a piercing. I'm going to get a piercing. Mm -hmm. That's not expensive. And it's something Attainable. you can easily get mm -hmm. and do. Yeah. But like, I want to hike Mount Everest. I'm not that hardcore. I don't think I would go that far. Let's get back to talking about retirement. 
days. We mm-hmm. will climb that so bucket list ladder. When would you be able to retire? Me? I can retire at around 65 years of age. And by ask then, me, ask I'll me. be. That's ask a perfect when I can age. Retire. That's the perfect age to go hike Mount Kilimanjaro, right? Right. When you're, si- when you're 65 and you've got time and money. Okay. It makes no sense. Well, it when, makes no when sense. When can you, my wife, who does not currently have a job, retire? So I looked it up. What right did now, you look like up? 67. We talked about YouTubers. There are people in their 30s and 40s who are retiring roughly after 15 years of digging in their heels and busting their asses uh, to build what they have. But when I hear people that are retiring I, that age, that are younger than 45, it just like, it confuses it, me. It's, I don't know how. Well, if you were a person who did something awesome, and let's, and I'm, I'm using the term awesome not to describe something I think is cool or good, but I'm saying a awesome as in like a feat of great consequence, whatever. Like Facebook guy. Whatever the hell his name is. Totally forget his name. Blanking. Matt. Zach. I don't remember his name. Tom. No, that's uh, MySpace. It's Tom. It's- oh, that is MySpace. <laughs> Mark did, Zuckerberg. Did th- oh, there Mark. you go. Mark, not Matt. That guy could have retired in his 20s. Uh, like a billionaire. He should have. He's weird looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Don't put this on. I just think. Um, that's a reason to retire. So we don't look at his face. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just mess around them. <laughs> okay, back it, on track. They dig in their heels. Mm-hmm. They bust their ass for 10, 15 years. They made a business that is thriving, mm-hmm. and they have the ability to have young children and say, "Look, I'm gonna step back." They can. They can. They could say, "I'm gonna take this year off." Mm-hmm. My kids doing all these things, and I need to be there for them for every moment. Yeah. We're there for every moment, but we're filled with like yeah, everything else. We're there for every moment. <laughs> and in the very minuscule bits of time where mm-hmm. they don't need us to be there, that's when we're like, oh, okay, time to work on our other things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, the term bucket list, do you think of the movie with Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson? I don't. That doesn't come up I at don't. all? Well, I do because you brought it up. <laughs> but like, I don't think of that. I think of the things, like when I think of a bucket list and when you say- the bucket list, I think of the movie, but when you say yeah. like a bucket list or bucket list, I don't. Yeah. I think of the things that I want to do with you and the kids. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's, yeah. No, I understand. So, so I don't hear the word bucket list and think, oh, that movie with Morgan Freeman, Jack Nicholson, like right off the yeah. top of my head. I don't think of that movie, but I, but I, I think of that fantastical, whimsical idea. But when I think of us covering the idea of bucket lists, mm-hmm. of course I go there and say, Look at this rich guy. <laughs> right? Essentially, two rich guys, because the other guy can do whatever he wants as well. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's Jack Nicholson is loaded, mm-hmm. and he says to his newfound friend, let's do this bucket list. Let's do everything on this. Yeah. Because it was, it was uh, Morgan Freeman's list, right? And Jack Nicholson started adding things to it, and then he's like, let's do all this. So essentially, Morgan Freeman- he had Freeman, the money to do it. Right. He and, had the friggin' money. And, and essentially, Morgan Freeman, he doesn't have to worry about money. No, he doesn't. Not at all. And that's, that's my thing. A bucket list. Who, who makes a bucket list? People who are dying. <laughs> Check. No. We're cutting that. I thought this was my laugh for the podcast. You hate it. You went from one episode to liking it. She, she, she. Oh, okay. I feel like bucket lists are what it comes down to is money and time. But like when people are eventually able to do the things that are on their bucket list, they're too old to be able to do things. And we've already said that. If money wasn't an issue, if we can get into this really quick, I have some notes that I would like to talk about. So, like, okay, we talked about how Morgan Freeman, like, that movie was like, okay, these guys have money and they can do all this shit, right? Yeah. I can't do any of that stuff. No. We can't do any I, of that stuff. I, and then by the time we decide to retire, it's going to be a lot. And then our kids are doing things and, like... They're in just, their 60s in that movie, right? At least 60s, pop, working their way up to 70. Um yeah, they're pretty. And they're up there, I so guess. So they do all the things. They they're like, oh, we, if money's not an issue, let's do everything. So they do it all. Yeah. 
and they do a bunch of crazy stuff. They get sports cars and they race them and then they crash them and it's like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> they were happy in that moment. Yeah. Right? If you have a bucket list, usually it's going to be things that you think you can do. And then again, you put things towards the bottom of the list that are like, holy crap, you know, if I ever save up enough money to do this, I'm going to fly to this country. Probably. Yeah. It's it's probably like a, tr- you know, a traveling thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. Or, or buy a mansion you mm. know or yeah. buy like a uh like a yacht or a, some a large like ridiculous yeah, yeah. A, a large item mm-hmm. business like i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a billboard on sunset strip with my wife's oh. face on it or whatever you know i said sunset strip i don't even know what that it means <laughs> know what you know what i'm talking about all. right he doesn't know sunset, no boulevard is that what it's called <laughs> Whatever that famous road in L.A. is, where everybody's like looking at <laughs> and the this billboard. And wants to move there. <laughs> well, okay, hey, so let's be. If I move there, I'll know what it's called. <laughs> That's on the bucket list. That just made the list. <laughs> that just made the list. <laughs> when Shout people... out to Chris Jericho. Oh, it's my boy. It's my best friend, Chris Jericho. <laughs> it's my best friend. Uh, it's his best friend. Tried climbing the walls of Jericho once. Didn't work out. All right. Go ahead. What? <laughs> you were saying something prior to this, weren't yeah, you? You said I was Chris Jericho's my best friend. Oh, my know. God. What was I saying? I don't know. I hope Chris Jericho knows. In the movie, Morgan Freeman is not a rich man, and he has a bucket list, and his items are probably not crazy. And I even think Jack Nicholson's character brings up the fact that his uh, items are not like... It's been a while since I watched I think yeah. I think Jack Nicholson insults him, sort of, saying like these are... Like think bigger. Li- li- yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think he says almost that exact same mm-hmm. thing. Think bigger. Well, yes, but he's thinking based on the fact that money is an issue. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't... My, I have to take care of my wife and kids. Yeah. So what do you mean think bigger? I, I've got... There's... This is as big as I can go. Yeah. You know? yeah. I can't. <laughs> um, I've reached the ceiling. So, and, and then these same people, like some of these people are like, oh, well, mine can't buy happiness. Well, f- right off of that, because I don't believe that at all. Money can 1000% buy my happiness, at least. And then like you have people like these content creators, if they wanted to retire tomorrow, they could. That's like, bonkers. Mr. Beast <laughs> says, you know what? I want to climb Mount Everest as my new challenge, and I'm going to take 10 subscribers with me. Right? He'll, he'll he do it. He just does it. That's it. He just does it. Yeah. I'm going, to, I'm going to go hike Mount Kilimanjaro. It's going to be there, our next video. Anyone who makes it to the top with me, I'll give $10,000. 10000 He would do that. Yeah, 100 I don't think 10000 I think doing that, I think He's be giving. More. You think it would be more? Yeah, I think oh, he would I'm offer sorry. them more money. I thought you were saying it as if it was, yeah, 50000 No, he would definitely. A hundred. If Mr. Beast, if Jimmy's mm-hmm. like, I want to hike Mount Kilimanjaro, let's make a video out of it. Mm-hmm. And that's how he writes it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're you're going to make like a, a million, $10 million in mm-hmm. ads, uh, you know, or sponsorships. Just do that. You are the man who can do that. Do it. If I was that, 100%, there's no chance I'm not doing it. And on that, Let's talk about our attainable Ooh, bucket list, list right? items. Yeah. <sighs> Amy Wynn, please proceed with number one. Oh, you want me to go first? Yes. Do you have them okay. in some sort of order? Or just... Okay. So when I started making my list, I started off with attainable goals yeah, yeah, and yeah. attainable things, right? But then it started to like snowball into other things. Okay. Um. So number one. Number one. On my list. Mm-hmm. I went to design and create a clothing line. Okay, okay, and you know like, that's you know that shit's right because I talk yeah, about it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know there was a bucket list item. I just it's a bucket list item. I, we I would love to do, to do anyway, that. But... <gasps> I just forgot one. Oh, okay, 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 go ahead. So my first bucket list item is to travel to the four corners. While I'm there, I would also travel to the mittens that are in Utah. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And on my way, then in that direction, still, just go to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> just. Because the ultimate goal is the Grand Canyon. So. In that, uh, in that l- item. But because the, those spots are not are relatively closer together. Yeah. I would definitely go to all three. 
So then, can I say my next one? Yes, ma'am. So I would like to travel the U.S. and visit each state in our own RV slash camper. Girl! But, but, it's, um, but underneath of that, it says Redwoods, Grand Canyon, Cabezon Dinos, Graceland, Dollywood. <laughs> like, all these really cool places. Okay, okay. Well, so... So, move yours onto the list. So, move yours up. So... Uh, all right, well, okay, okay. I... <sighs> A lot of my you st- have that as attainable goal. I feel like it is attainable. It is in in small little spurts. I would say I didn't have that as an attainable goal. That was just my next one that I was going to say because you brought up the four corners mittens. I'm going to put that shit on my list, man. All what? right. <laughs> Do you have them in, in a in an order that like you wanted to say it in? I okay. Number two. Never mind. We don't have to do it no, that no, way. No, Let's no. do it. <laughs> You- <laughs> Number two on my list <laughs> okay. is the literal four corners of the United of the continental United States. Got it. I want to. I we, we've already gone to the north uh, northeast tip of Maine. Mm-hmm. Technically, Bar Harbor is right there. You can go a little bit further. There is a lighthouse that meets like the edge mm-hmm. of right. You know. <clears throat> yeah. But lighthouse. But that's boring. Like it's, I, I've looked it up on Google maps and I've looked all around there. That place is boring. boring except for just North of there. There is another spot. I don't have it on my bucket list, but I do. Mm-hmm. I think want to go there. It's a place that Tom Scott did a video on where the water recedes like, like, a, like 200 feet or some nonsense. Yeah. And then, uh, it comes back up like high tide, low tide. Yeah. 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 yeah you know, where there's the two mm-hmm. rush, uh, tides in two different directions. I like um, that. Yeah. So I would love to go too. actually there too. Um, but anyway, back to this uh, number two item because okay. Miami Beach is uh, on the list because it's you know that lower southern. That's weird southeast- because I'm surprised you eastern side. Yeah. Wait a minute, you've never expressed that you wanted to go there. That's very weird. It's not very weird. It's weird I said because I wanted you were to like you didn't four- want to go. I said I wanted to go to the four corners of the U.S. I did say that to you before, and Ma- Miami is one of. The four corners. Is so. it really? What? Where else is there? <laughs> you want to go to Florida again? You said you did not at all. I don't have a to reason to, to want to go to anywhere else. Like, let's just go to Miami. Exactly. I would actually... <gasps> another one! I want to go on one of those boat rides with the big fans. <laughs> That's been that shit on my list. What is that? All right. That is pretty oh. cool. That is pretty cool. I got So, San Diego, California... Right which is basically second. the southernmost point of California. Oh, yeah, I like California. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Got then it. I have here, um, so Astoria is is like Whoa. right up there. I would have to go to Astoria. Oh, yeah. Okay. These are all really cool spots, but, but we have a lot of stuff on our list, so, so I want to keep on, going. I'm just going to go with the next go, thing you on go my next. list. That's fine. You can go next. Because it was Cabeza on Dinosaurs. I have it on here. I know. So... Within that trip, if we were to go there, yeah, Cabez on Dinosaurs, L.A., mm-hmm. like not too far, uh, Venice Beach Skate Park, because come on. Can I say my next one? Yes, ma'am. All right. This is sort of an attainable goal, but like I would want to live in places for short periods of time. I know. <laughs> I know it's a very weird. No, that. I love that idea. Thing is, uh, so it's um, experience the, the cultures of the area. It says area, the demographic, the culture, everything. So, like living in like New York, I would love to live in New York. I would love to live in an apartment, like just experience that for six months, nine months to a year, whatever, and then move on to another city. How do we turn that into a job? That would be cool. New York apartment, Seattle main cabin, van life by the ocean, mountains. Japan. <laughs> that was just like little. So I'm going to just whip through mine, my last sure. couple, because you've already. I have a lot. You can listen. You can do the rest of yours after I do mine, because you've pretty much stolen all of mine already. So I, now I have to just <laughs> spit it out. Go ahead, go ahead. I didn't steal anything. How dare you? So I have a handful that are in California. Okay. You said Redwood Forest. I, I did. I have that on my list. Mm-hmm. But also, I would love to hike Yosemite, which is California, mm-hmm. and Lake Tahoe, right? Yeah. The Lake Tahoe lookout that is kind of up on the hill 
looking southwest mm-hmm. is was from the movie The Wizard. They sit there for a little bit before on their way to LA. You say that whenever we see that. It's the same thing it, with the yeah. Cabezon dinosaurs. Oh yeah. They went there too. You know, like, oh my God. God it has and it's not just TV. because of those movies that makes me wanna go there. But Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is no, a nostalgic is. feeling of childlike whimsy about those locations. Yeah. That just screams, Hey, buddy. It's it's still the nineteen eighties somewhere. <laughs> They're a little campy. They're you know, a little. They're it's a, little a gem like, of of that era. Like going to mm-hmm. Farpoint, just walking in Farpoint and like walking around the store for a little bit. You're like, holy crap! I remember way. this. I have two more attainable goals. Okay. I'm gonna say the last one first, which is visit Japan. Okay, because, do you know my one? Because because I I want to do all of that stuff. Like, there's a handful. Obviously, that Japan trip. I could just go there one time because it's going to be expensive. Yeah. And the thing I would want to do is like, I don't know, scoop up some dirt and take it with me. I don't know if they would let me do it. Maybe I'll just have to swallow it. (laughs) (laughs) I'll drag my clothes through the dirt. And then I'll shake them off when I get back here. (laughs) I'll put it in my shoes. Like, this is Japan, baby. (laughs) He swallows. Of dirt, <laughs> and I poop it out. Is that where you were going with that? Oh my god, I couldn't do that. That would that would ruin me. But oh, that's, keep going. But seriously, straight look, edge. Guy. I, I will touch okay. base on Japan more in my unattainable goal. But just going to anywhere in Japan mm-hmm. one time for maybe a week. That's mm-hmm. an attainable goal. I have more unattainable goals that I haven't listed as if we're ever rich. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> this um, is most of my stuff is if we're ever rich. Actually. <laughs> well, that that's why it's I considered it on a okay a, got unobtainium. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, number seven on my list here was you have them numbered. I don't have them. Yeah, I have them numbered, but like I should number mine. I have so many. Number two was the literal four corners of the U.S. Yes, so got that's it. technically. Four. four things yeah. um but number seven on my list here mm-hmm. is to take you to the south of france to visit and i said here southern france to take amy to all of van gogh's old haunts old haunts that's on my list too <laughs> there's actually i have like so that non i would say that's unattainable right now that, no, it's, it's pretty expensive moment. yeah but and covid is like spiking again or something yeah um i think it's really sweet that you say that um so my japan on here because i do have a japan on here renew our 20-year vows in japan <laughs> girl <laughs> we have like less than two years so i think that's i feel like that's a little more unattainable, but I thought that would be a really cool thing because we're two years out. So this year's our 18th year. You good? Our 18th wedding anniversary. Are you good? I'm sorry. I didn't expect you to say that sort of thing. You're in the middle of drinking water. <laughs> so that was my that was my Japan thing. But then also that goes along with that is you being able to visit all the places that you want to go. So your your want for me is to go visit all of vincent's old haunts and then i want you to go to japan because i know that is literally the thing that he loves the most besides like photography and video editing and all that stuff and videos and everything also because you said you wanted me to go to france and all that and amsterdam and everything so i have on here france the uh museum in the van gogh museum in amsterdam arles uh over sur say i don't I'm probably butchering it. Do you have another one you want to go before I get into my? I have if a lot. Rich? <laughs> I have a lot here. These are all forever rich. Go ahead. Actually, go you know what? I'll do the attainable ones real quick. Go, go I ahead. can really yeah, quick. Yeah. I would like to. Um, I would like to play in a roller derby match. Like I would. I would love to do roller derby. That, see, hold on. I I, I want to th- put this out there that my bucket list items are all location visiting, basically. <laughs> And I was thinking about that as I was typing all of mine. I was like, I don't 
<laughs> want to do like a weird event type. Th- like, I don't want to skydive or do like, I don't want to, I don't want to skydive. I don't want to mm-hmm. race like a sports car. I don't want to do mm-hmm. like a, I don't do a that thing. I want to just go and see a place. <laughs> I want to see places, but I also want to experience And I, I was thinking, Amy's probably going to have, like, I want to swim with dolphins and manatees. <laughs> <laughs> I want to perform a seance in Salem on Halloween. <laughs> I want a light. I want a With fire. None of them. I, I want one of my children to light the black flame candle while they are still virgins. Um, I would like to run a marathon. Like nothing too insane. See, like I don't want to cool. shit myself, and I don't want my nipples to bleed. <laughs> Gotta love the office references. I just, I think those marathons that are so long, where they're like shitting themselves and pissing themselves. <sighs> no. Yeah, that's I'm too I'm much. I'm down for like a 5k. What's that? Like a couple It's like three and a half miles. Sure, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to run I want to do I want to do a marathon with your mom. Your mom ni- runs yeah, and I think it's cool one, as hell. That one my mom did, I think is a 5K. Yeah, I would love to do that. We could do that. I would love to do that maybe by next year, like hopefully after my everything is good. I would like to skateboard again and become proficient again and I would like to I would like to be. I would like to do an ollie and maybe a kickflip. That'd be dope. At least one of those. <laughs> I would like to take classical dance, like classes. Mm-hmm. And I know I've talked about this. Like I want to dance. Yeah, I love dancing. Nobody knows really knows that about me. Like I love dancing. Um, you tell everyone, so I think people know. <laughs> I just told everyone, so yeah. everybody knows. <laughs> Own a home. Again, for a period of time so that the kids can finish out school and everything so they have like a stable place. So I would like to go to the tip of Montauk in the winter. My next one is perform in a play or a musical. And under that, with the kids. (laughs) So another one is that I would like to have my art displayed in a gallery and have my own show. That would be awesome. That'd be very cool. Yeah. And then I want to see more Broadway shows with the kids. That's another one. I know it's not like the greatest. That's totally obtainable. Like, I mean, we're going to do that this year anyway. We just saw one, actually. The girls and I just saw Sweeney Todd. So good. Um, So today was actually Josh Groban's last. Oh, today is going to be Josh Groban's last performance because it's 1 (laughs) a.m. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... We got to see him perform, and the girls and I got to meet um, Daniel Marconi, I believe his last name is. He plays Tobias in Sweeney Todd. It was, he was fantastic. He actually, um, when Gaten Matarazzo stopped, he took over that role. Yeah, yeah. He was fantastic cool. and made us cry when he wow. was singing to Miss Lovitz and you know, it was really great. And we got to meet him and he was super nice. But yeah, yeah. side note, <laughs> I would like to get uh, all the tattoo ideas that have been swirling around in my brain. <laughs> That's like one of my goals. Just like all of the things that I think are like funny or dumb. I would love to do them. My, if we were rich, mm-hmm. unobtainable, as of right now, unobtainable. I'm just going to read what I said. Originally, I was selfish and I typed a couple of my below items because that's the sort of that's the sort of what a bucket list is all about things you do before you die but in reality the first thing i would want to do if i were ever rich would be to make sure i set money aside for my children Mm -hmm. so they were properly taken care of should anything happen to us i agree so yeah there's that Mm -hmm. then we get into the nitty-gritty (laughs) um, <laughs> you <the> selfish stuff. <laughs> I want a big house. You mentioned having a house. Yeah. I want a big house. Uh, At least once in our big lives, enough, right? Big enough for the family so that we're, we live comfortably. My next one is literally buy a Winnebago and visit every state with bikes in order to ride trails and see the most of the best national parks of America. Hell yeah. But you already had that buy a Winnebago and <laughs> travel to every state. That was like one of your like first goals i had that if we were rich 
but that doesn't have to necessarily be rich. That could be like that we could can be like travel we don't a couple have, states over and then the come kids back. are all graduated in college or doing their own things with their families. They've moved out and have significant others and are building their own relationships. Yes. Okay. Or they've graduated, they have nice paying jobs, and they still want to live with us, which is also fine. And they're contributing to this idea where we then get a Winnebago mm -hmm. and travel out of every state. That's 100% fine with me if, yeah. if that's what ends up happening. Okay, so my last item, that's it. I don't have any more items. Okay, so <laughs> I have a couple more things on my list. I would love to go to Germany. I would love to actually visit my brother while he's there. I think that would be really cool. He's there for another two-ish years. I would love to visit him in Germany. Um, after Germany, I wanted to go to the Great, like the, um, great Pyramids and all things Egypt. But then right after that, it's an archaeological dig. <laughs> In Egypt? I would love to go. I would just love to go on an archaeological dig, like, period. I want to go and, like, like wipe yeah, some shit off yeah, and yeah. find Give stuff. Give me some brushes. Or I would love to go to, like, a, like find, like, my own geodes and stuff. That's kind of, like, along that line. I have three more things on my list. So I want to visit as many of the Go most. out with a bang. So you better save that last one. Better be the best thing ever. It's not really. It's just... <laughs> I mean, it, for me, it's super cool. Right. So um, visit as many of the most famous art museums. So like. Okay. The um, Louvre. The Louvre. Louvre. The, and then this also is the Natural History Museum in Vienna, Austria. I want to go there because the Venus of Willendorf or Willendorf, Venus of Willendorf <laughs> is there. And I would really like to see it in person because it's tiny and. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to see that. And then I would love to go to the Chavot and the Lascaux Caves in France. So, like, if I was, if I'm in, uh, if I go see, like, my brother in Germany, I could just totally go to the uh, museum in Austria there. Like, that'd be cool. <laughs> just. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. That, a that's lot of the, these things I could do the at the same about, time. Right. That's the thing about, like, what, what my lists were. Like, when I said Four Corners, Mittens, and Grand Canyon mm -hmm. in my first one. That's because they're not far from each other, rel relatively close. The Cabez on Dinosaurs, L.A., and Venice Beach Skate Park. Well, that's right there. I mean, the Venice it's all Beach the Skate Park. Yeah, it, it's like area. probably a half hour, 45 minutes from Cabez on to L.A. Is it? And then Venice Beach is in L.A. So, yeah. Yeah, you're not, you know, <laughs> you're definitely doing both of those things at the same mm -hmm. time. If you're in L, just being in L.A. and then going to the skate park, I mean, come on. <laughs> What what did mm -hmm. I joke about that you laughed your butt off earlier? Because I said, I was like, oh, you probably want to swim with dolphins. And uh, did you have that on there? You didn't read that. <laughs> because you said it? I said you want to swim like, with dolphins swim and manatees. Swim with manatees, et cetera. I said swim It's right with here. Yeah, but you didn't say that out loud, I don't think. No, it's on my. No, no, you don't have to show it to me. I know. Because you were I dying laughing after I said it. You died laughing. Because then I said the whole having a seance in Salem on the on I'm Halloween put that on my, I'm putting that on my list right now. That just made the list. <laughs> do you have a bucket list? What's oh. on your bucket list? Also, what do you think about retirement? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about retirement? What do you think about bucket lists? I would love to see what you have to say. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we ha I have locations that I want to visit. Amy's got some... Things she actually wants to do, like uh, experiences she wants to actually join in, like swimming with manatees or something. You know, <laughs> dancing, other, dancing. Cla dance classes. These are experiences stuff, yeah. that she physically does, besides you know hiking, like I want to do. I want to do that uh, too, or, but that's on so U.S. stuff. What do you want to do? Maybe you want to go skydiving. Maybe you want to throw a frisbee off of uh, the roof of a tall building. <laughs> And see how far it goes. You know, uh, maybe you want to eat the world's largest pizza. Oh, you want to know what something my brother just did? I don't have any of those types of goals. My brother went to the Eiffel Tower and then he ate dinner in the Eiffel Tower. That's a bucket list thing. He did it. He was like, I don't care how much it costs. Yeah, he did. And that is amazing. And I saw the pictures. That's He's right there. He can do it. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he was able to do that. That's sick. That's an experience. That's a mm -hmm. location and experience so what do you want to do where do you want to go what what's some crazy thing that you think would be just phenomenal to visit mm -hmm. or goal or 
experience to 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 uh, to experience. <laughs> Let us know. We'd love to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe because listen. Oh yeah. We don't. would love if you We're subscribe. We're looking for those subscribers. <laughs> Keep coming back. We'll we'll do this again next week just for you. We'll talk about some more fun things. Yeah. I think this was cool. This has been Mike Wynn. Amy Wynn. And we have Discussed. Discussed. Retirement and, uh, and bucket, bucket lists. List. Catch you on the next one. See ya. See you, old man. <laughs> How dare you? I'm going to retire. You showed your old. 